Okay, so we're just going to have a look at doing some micro soldering. Now, I've got a soldering iron here, and it's actually got a very fine tip on it. It's already a fine tip iron, uh, but still, to solder on this circuit board here, it could be a little bit uh, thick, the tip. So let's have a look at the microscope. So if I just put it near the soldering pad there, you can see the size of the, of the iron compared to the tip uh, may make it a bit difficult. So what we can do is we can actually make this tip, uh, this soldering iron tip, a little bit sharper. Right. Well, the way you don't do it is to use a file. Okay, so if you file that soldering iron tip, you'll actually wreck it. The better way to do it is just to use some wire. Now, you can see this is single core copper wire. So there's no multi-strand there. It's all just one strand. And we just want to basically just keep going and, and stripping that off until we've got a piece that's about uh, maybe about 15 centimeters long like this and what we're going to do is we're going to put that there and wrap it around the soldering iron all the way down to the tip and this will actually be the the size of the tip okay make sure your iron is not hot so you need a cold iron and we just take it and start wrapping it around uh, wrap it around neatly so the coils of wire go right next to each other Okay, and just be careful you don't actually bend your soldering iron tip as you're, as you're winding it. Okay, and when we get down to the end, we just straighten it out and leave maybe, maybe two to three millimeters sticking out the end there. Okay, so let's go over onto the microscope and see how that looks. Okay, so you can see we've got a much finer tip now and we'll be able to get onto that soldering pad there. Okay, so let's take a, take a little bit of time to heat the iron up and we'll see how we go with the soldering. Okay, while the iron's heating up, I'll just put that away. What we like to use is a little bit of this stuff. Uh, it's called blue tack. Could be called something different in your country. Okay, and we can just put that underneath the, the circuit board there and just use it to hold the circuit board down. This is the stuff that you use to put posters on the wall. Okay, so if we have a look at that in the microscope, there we go, we can see that it's, it's held down nicely there and it won't move while we're trying to solder it. So our soldering iron is nice and hot now. Um, I've got some silicon wire. Now I like to use silicon wire because this wire, the silicon won't actually melt. Uh, no matter how hot your, your iron is, it'll stay intact. With, uh, with cheaper wire, uh, the the covering can actually melt. Uh, I'll just flip over, of course, we're on the Micron Wings website, micronwings.com. Just up there. If you go to the wire and solder section, we've actually got 30 AWG silicon wire and 28 and all, all the way down. And we've also got the micro solder you need, 0.3 and 0.5 millimeter diameter solder. Okay, so once again, just head on over to the Micron Wings website and, uh, and you can get some of that special silicon wire. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit of the solder on the tip there. You can see the piece of uh, copper there is heated up and it's melted the solder. And we'll just tin the wire a little bit, don't leave too much on there. And we'll just wipe the rest of that off on a piece of sponge. Okay, so now we're ready to actually start soldering. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually um, just uh, tin the, uh, actually, sold, put a bit of solder onto there, so we've got something to solder onto. There we go. That's a nice little lump of solder there. And next we're going to solder the, the wire on. Right, so we'll just bring the, the solder up, the wire up, and just touch it with there. Okay. And there it is, soldered. 